in the Premier League. What a result for Laxey. They just don't know when they're dead and buried, do they? They move to within a point of safety, Tony. This would be one of the greatest escapes in Manx football history, I'm sure. Uh, 4-1 winners over Old Boys today. It drags them to within just one point of both Douglas Royal and St John's, who they have to play in one of their remaining games. Let's have a look at the mathematics in a minute. Let's have a look at this game. Douglas High School Old Boys um, took the lead. Craig uh, Stewart uh, with a goal, but then you know, Laxey put in a real tremendous performance. I've had uh, Mike Murley and uh, also Johnny Palmer in touch just to say how the game went. And uh, it was 4-1 to Laxey. Goals from Harry Walters. Uh, Joe Walters with two and Michael Fernandez. Michael's a, an important player for him. He's very physical, uh, but fair. Uh, but it just gives the young lads around him, it's as if it's like a, I won't say father presence, but a mature presence because uh, he really does rally the troops around. Uh, excellent performance by Laxey after going 1-0 down in the first half. And the big thing was, the big story, and I touched on it at lunchtime, not knocking him, but he's not a goalkeeper. Uh, Johnny Palmer made three superb saves uh, and a really important part of the game. And uh, the comment came in was, not bad for an old man. I'm delighted for Johnny. I work with Johnny and I've, I know how much uh, managing Laxey means to him. Uh, you know, it means everything. And it's just gone a little bit pear-shaped for him. But now they've got a really good opportunity. To me, it's in their hands now. They needed a bonus uh, result somewhere. That's a big bonus result. And well done to Laxey because, you know, it looked as if they're going to go. Now they've given them an opportunity. Let's have a look at the mathematics. Well, I'll hold you there, Tony. Go on, I'll hold that Because minute. we'll discuss St John's, who are also in action today, who lost 3-0 to Moran, and that has further implications because it does mean that Moran are now officially safe and they will preserve their Premier League status for another season. So congratulations to them. 3-0 winners over St John's. St John's, they're definitely not out of it just yet. The pressure's on them and uh, St John's, uh, again today, couldn't field a combination side. So, uh, you know, the short on players, we've got good players there. When I look at like people like Nick Long, Andrew Chadwick, uh, you've got uh, Sam Ingham, uh, James Rice uh, in goal is a superb keeper. And then when you look at the other players around them, uh, Dean Lisi and uh, everything else, it, it's really good. But today, in the second half, all the job was done. Ashley Higginbottom got two. Joey Rothwell got one. Sad to hear that, Moran. Uh, goalkeeper Harry Horbury was taken to hospital. Hopefully it's not too serious. And uh, if someone from Moran can just let us know, because he's a top lad, Harry. He's not the tallest of uh, the goalkeepers, but my word... Um, is he quality and I don't think uh, he's going to grow a lot because his dad's sorry John is not uh, the tallest but uh, when it comes to quality is excellent and what a, a gentleman he is so we wish him well on that one but as you say with St John's let's have a look at the league tables now um, we've got Laxey who uh, are in 12th place play 20 for 12 Douglas Royal are a place above them play 20 for 13 and you've got St John's who have played 20 Four thirteen. Castletown have finished their league programme now today against Corinthians. Games in hand. St John's have got both teams to play. They've got Douglas Royal to play and Laxey. Douglas Royal's other team is St George's, so you'd say that's going to be a bit of a struggle. And Laxey's other game is St Mary's. So St John's are key to all this. Now, if Douglas Royal won their game against St John's, they go on 16. If Laxey won their game in hand against St John's, they'd go on 15. That would mean St John's would make the drop. Massive games coming up for St John's, Douglas Royal and uh, Laxey. And uh, with the Hospital Cup just starting, we might have to delay it a bit. A few people are saying, when are you going to start the night games? We might look to try and get one on the Wednesday before Easter. Well, let's, we'll have a look at the light first because uh, there's, uh, we've got to make sure that we don't sort of run out of light and the game's abandoned. Either way, it seems that there will be a big club relegated from the top flight. And do you think you'd rather be, at this juncture, in Laxey's position, knowing that you're bottom of the league and at the moment you are destined for relegation? Or would you rather be in St John's position, which is a, stuck in a bit of a rut at the moment? But they think that if Laxey are dead and buried, they can take their foot off the gas and that possibly opens the door for Laxey to make this great escape. I think St John's have got to find a performance like they did against St George's where they lost 5-3, but that's that's good. Um, I've watched St John's a few times this year and they're very young. That's why, and key players like Nick Lung's missed quite a few games. Looking at that league table at the moment, 
I think Douglas Royal are good enough to beat St. John's. Laxey are good enough to beat St. John's. So I'd be quite frightened uh, with St. John's at the moment. And as I say, it might end up being a night game. And when night games come in, they can become a lottery because people have done a hard day's work. Then they've got to go and concentrate on the football and we get some strange results. So it's a huge, huge end uh, to the end of the Canada Life Premier League season. And you've got three, le uh, three clubs there that could possibly go down. And we want to go three leagues. Why? Look at the look at the stories we're getting from Division Two and the Premier League. Oh well, I don't want to open that can of worms <laughs> tonight, Tony. We don't have enough time. All I will say is alarm bells ringing for many employers if they've got some uh, <laughs> staff who play for either Laxey or St John's, because I think a few people be may sickies. be calling in sick if they do play. <laughs> A midweek game uh, and on morale goalkeeper Harry Horbury, who has been playing so well this season, we know he was taken to hospital around half an hour into the match with St John's this afternoon, a suspected dislocated shoulder. So we wish him a speedy and full recovery.